Recent development shows that the crisis may spiral out of control. And today we wanted to send a strong signal of unity and engagement. We are in agreement about the need to engage more strongly before it's becoming too late. Mr. Salame has warned us again, he did in the past councils, but uh, he insisted on the fact that in Libya there are several risks. These risks are increasing. First, the terrorism risk. More and more is being detected the presence of uh, fighters coming from Syria and also from Sudan. Second, the migration risk. There are almost 700,000, according with his figures, 700,000 people coming from sub-Saharan Africa and from other countries. All of them are working in Libya. Not all of them want to go to Europe, but uh, depending on the situation in Libya, depending on the situation in Libya, they will, they will go to go because they may lost they may lose their jobs depending on the situation. The region cannot afford another war. The region cannot afford another war and we call for an urgent escalation and maximum restraint to every part. The crisis risk jeopardizing years of effort to stabilize Iraq, especially given its implication for the decisive work of the global coalition against Daesh. We condemn every attack on coalition forces, and we clearly state that continued fighting Daesh remains our priority. We are also committed to preserving the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action. Well, about the GCPOA, I said uh, whatever I can say. We are willing to maintain this deal, but for that, we need that Iran fulfill their commitments. The INSTEC is a mechanism that was conceived in order to allow deals, economic transactions with Iran without being under the American sanctions for the ones who, the actors of these transactions, and nothing has changed from this point of view. But in order to keep alive the GCPOA, we need that Iran goes to the fulfillment of its commitment. We have been talking about everything on the Iran situation. There is no news that I can share with you about uh, what has happened with the crash of this uh, Ukrainian plane. All hypotheses are open. There is an investigation taking place, and we have the investigators to, to do their work. I cannot tell you, because I don't know which were the causes. I know that some Western leaders have been advancing the possibility of uh, not an accident, but I don't know and it would be quite irresponsible from my side to advance news about such a sensitive thing without having concrete information. Thank you. Next question. So uh, a new type of deal that the United States could get behind perhaps because for the, it's been stagnating for so long that just to say that you want to continue it doesn't see how that can be possible. <coughs> On the GCPOA, it's clear that we, Europeans, we are in a completely different position than the United States. The United States doesn't want this deal, and it's very clear they withdraw unilaterally from the GCPOA, and we haven't withdraw. We are still there, and we try to continue working in order for this deal not to go to the Security Council and being cancelled.